Well, here we are leaving River Heads finally. It's been a lovely stay. We hid in the creek there from the uh, cyclone's effects and we moved our car from out underneath the trees in the car park as the council said to. And surprise, surprise, when we came back to get our car this morning, there was another $120 or so fine stuck to the windscreen, which means the parking meter man's been out here this morning to have a sticky beak at the boat ramp and thought, I'll book this guy. He's parked in a boat space. But there's no boats about because there's just been a cyclone go through and we've been hiding in the mangroves trying to protect our home. Now, we might be boat people, but we have children on board, especially the youngest, the three-year-old. I brought the car over in the risk of the rain and weather yesterday, so we had an emergency vehicle if we had an emergency. I left it where it was because there was emergency conditions and I could get to it and the winds were not going to hit it in the council car park, which I can park in any time I like. I come this morning and I find that I've been booked for parking there earlier than 9 o'clock in the morning he booked us and I'm assuming it's the same guy so I got news for you the guy that booked us is going to talk to me in court in front of a judge because what you've done is downright disgusting an absolute mongrel thing to do to a person book them when you know the car's been there a long time because you're keeping record because we know you do because I'm no idiot but I'm going to court with this one and I don't care who gets in, in it. I don't care. I'm ready for this one, mate. I got footage of the storm. I've got weather reports. I've got the alerts. Just because the old council office says, oh, it's okay to go back to work, it wouldn't be the kindest thing to run around booking people. And this guy wants to move to Lucinda. Well, are you going to rush out and book everyone after the roof comes off your house? Oh, maybe it wasn't him that booked me. Maybe it was a new naive pup that came out and thought, Aha! I've got a car! I'm going to book it! Either way, mate, see you in court. Here comes a barge full of people. We're going to court, we're going to court, we're going to court, we're going to court. I hate that place. It's got crap boat ramps. It's got disgusting smells every time you go there, from diesel fumes from the trucks to fumes to buses idling waiting for customers then you've got the garbage bin right behind the buses so you get a real good smell of the ocean when you turn up for a breath of fresh air to have a look at beautiful river heads for all you folk living in river heads it must suck to be there and think it could be better it must really suck because you're not going to get your boardwalk and you're not going to get your eco land see you later